Oh, hi there. Um, this is Mr. Waterman. We're doing lesson 7.4, similar triangles. We're going to solve problems using the properties of similar triangles. Now, a triangle is a special polygon, meaning that it only has three sides and three angles. Now, what are some properties of similar triangles? Well, our first property, our first property is that, number one, all three angles of one triangle equal all three angles of another triangle. All right. Now, or, or properties of a similar triangle are the second part is three corresponding sides are in proportion. And proportion, remember we talked about cookies, and if we double the batch of cookies, we need to double all our ingredients. That means those two batches of cookies are in proportion. All right. If we double the batch of cookies and we forgot to double one of the ingredients, like eggs or something like that, the recipe wouldn't work out. All right. So let's take a look at these two triangles. And now they are similar because if we've got angle A right here, and that's going to be equal to angle Q, which is 75 degrees. All right. We have angle B, which is 62 degrees. And oh, angle R is also 62 degrees. Now, because triangles always have 180 degrees inside them. Three angles always equal 180, no matter what triangle it is on the planet. They always have 180 in. We know if two of them correspond, all right, if two of them correspond, we know the last one, angle C and angle P, also have to be equal. And they are 43, sorry. Forty-three degrees. All right. So we know that similar triangles will have the exact same angles. Now, when we name a similar triangle, we order the num the letters to match the corresponding angles. So, for example, in this triangle, we're going to label a triangle A B C is equal to triangle, and we start with the angle that corresponds to angle A, and that's Q. This corresponds, B corresponds to angle R, and angle C corresponds to angle P. All right? So we say that similar triangles, we order the letters to match the corresponding angles. Triangle ABC equals triangle QRP because all those angles are equal to each other. Now, then we can use this to identify the corresponding sides. All right? So you'll notice that the corresponding angles, because they line up, we can also identify the corresponding lengths, all right? So the angles line up, and we can also cor get the corresponding length. So let's check out length. Um, let's move this up for a second. Length A, B corresponds to Q, R. Now, if we were to put some numbers in there, and we found a ratio, or we found a fraction, and we used division, and we got a uh, decimal, we would get the exact same decimal. If these two were corresponding, we would get length BC is also corresponding to RP. All right, and then we also have AC corresponding to QP. All right, all these are corresponding, and they would give up the same ratio for a triangle if we had some numbers in there. All right, let's turn down a little bit. Now, we're going to identify the similar triangles, and we're going to justify our answer. So we have um, two triangles in here. We have angle R, and you know what? It shares angles, and we're going to say these are equal because uh, they're vertically opposite. All right. Now, we also have some other angles that we think are equal, angle Q and angle S, and we also have angle P is corresponding to angle T. All right. 
we also have some lengths that are corresponding. All right. So let's label our triangle. We have triangle TSR, and we have triangle, not A, triangle. We have triangle uh, PQR. Now, let's see. We have length TS is going to be 6, and it is our shortest. Well, what length is our shortest on uh, PQR? Well, it is QP, and that equals 4. And then our next shortest, or our next longest, sorry, is TR, and it equals 7.5. And RP, which it corresponds to, is 5. And then our longest, SR, equals 9. That's our longest. And we have QR, and that equals 6. All right. So now we're going to determine the scale factor. So you can do that on the right-hand side here. Well, we have TS is corresponding to QP. And we have 6 over 4, which equals 1.5. So this is saying that triangle TSR is 1.5 times bigger than triangle QP. Well, do we really know that for sure? We have to check all our lengths against the corresponding lengths to make sure that they all have the same scale factor. All right, so we have TR over RP, and that's going to be 7.5 over 5. We divide that and we get 1.5. Huh, same thing. And next we have SR over QR, and we have 9 over 6, and what do you think? It equals 1.5. So these two triangles are corresponding, and they are similar. All right, let's keep going down. Now we have a, another example here. At a certain time of day, a person who is 1.8 meters tall, so we know their height, has a shadow of 1.3 meters. All right, so we can see that right here. We've got a height here, and we have our shadow length of 1.3 meters. Now, at the same time, the shadow of the totem pole is 6 meters long. Okay, so there's our shadow of the totem pole is 6 meters tall, long. And the sun's rays intersect the ground at equal angles. So we know the sun is way up here. And we'll put a big yellow ball up there. That's the sun. And it's coming down. And we know that this angle is equal to this angle. We also know that these are 90 degrees. So those two angles are equal. And finally, our third angle are going to equal each other because the law of triangles. So what do we know? Well, let's just write this down here. All angles equal 180 degrees. If two angles are equal to the other two angles, the third angle must, the third angle, sorry, must be the same. So that's our third angle. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use these similar triangles to determine um, which or how tall this totem pole is. Okay, so what do we know? We've got x, y over um, a, b. And those are corresponding. And they're going to equal y, z over b, c. We're going to put our numbers in there and cross multiply. All right, so x, y was 1.8 meters. We didn't know a, b. And we know yz is 1.3. And we also know that bz, bc is 6. All right. So we know that we've got 1.8 for xy. And we've got ab, because we don't know that one. And then for yz, we've got 1.3. And for bc, we've got 6. So what we're going to do is we're going to cross multiply. Now, we go from the 1 that we go from the bottom over here, we're going to go multiply, or the other way around, um, 6 times 1.8 divided by 1.3. So we get our handy dandy calculator out here, 
and we go 6 times 1.8 divided by 1.3 and our height AB equals 8.307 we're going to round up and we get 8.31 meters tall all because we knew the length of our shadow as we were walking in the sun all right let's keep going we got one more example here and then a little question all right a surveyor wants to determine the width of a lake at the two points on the opposite ends of the lake um, she measures distances and angles on land and then sketches the diagram how can she determine the length of HN to the nearest meter well look at that we have two corresponding triangles triangle H and J is equal to triangle P Q J all right and we know some lengths all right so what we can do is we've got the length here this length is corresponding to this length and this length is corresponding to this length all right you can start to see this after a while so what we're going to do to set up our question is we've got the lake we're gonna we don't know HN so we're gonna put HN on top this time and it's corresponding to what part of our PQJ triangle well it's corresponding to PQ all right and then we've got our next one we've got HJ is corresponding to PJ we're gonna put our numbers in for this and we get HN well we don't know that one that's the one we're looking for PQ is 230 meters then we have HJ which is well look at that we have to add those up and that's gonna be 515 and PJ is 210 now because they're similar they're gonna give the same scale factor alright that's why this works and we're gonna go 230 times 515 divided by 210 and we end up getting HN equaling 564 meters all right finally you're going to do question 12 on page 349 that's for marks bring it in question 12 on page 349 Good luck.